journalistic failure that was avoidable. That's the verdict from the Columbia University Graduate School of Journalism on the Rolling Stone article about an alleged rape on the University of Virginia campus. Rebecca Cooper is at the live desk with a look at tonight's review. Rebecca? An entirely avoidable failure is what the report calls the Rolling Stone article. A media failure so massive, investigators say the wrongdoing was at every level of the magazine, from reporting, editing, editorial supervision, and fact-checking. Tonight, the editors of Rolling Stone magazine issued a short apology to both the readers and, quote, all of those damaged by the story and the ensuing fallout. The alleged rape victim, a UVA student referred to as Jackie, said the assault took place at a Phi Psi fraternity party, with numerous Pledge Brothers all taking part in the assault. But after a swift and immediate condemnation of the fraternity and the entire Greek system, the story started to unravel, and even friends of Jackie said it was made up. The Columbia Journalism School report issued Sunday said that contrary to prior statements made by Rolling Stone editors, Jackie had not told the magazine they couldn't contact people described in the article. Instead, the report says, editors and fact checkers simply failed to do their jobs. The Columbia report also says budget cuts at the legendary magazine aren't to blame. Instead, investigators say this was simply a case of careless disregard for basic editorial oversight, even when at least one fact checker did raise questions about the article's veracity. Lawyers representing the fraternity members say they plan to fully review the report as they consider litigation. UVA President Teresa Sullivan said tonight, Rolling Stone's irresponsible reporting unfairly targeted university officials, who she says are committed to confronting sexual violence. In the newsroom, Rebecca Cooper, ABC 7 News.